we were told through marketing that uh, we don't possibly can't possibly have the time for cooking. Mm -hmm. And if you purchase these foods and heat them up in the microwave, your life will be better. It only takes a minute and you can get food on the table. We don't have any time for cooking. But we have time for cooking shows, which are fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and I think that you know, the twist in there is that the cooking that's done on cooking shows is done by experts. Yeah. And in a competitive way. So you have finely trained chefs working with a, an obscure set of ingredients with a time limit. And as a viewer, this looks like uh, you know, LeBron James or Dwayne Wade. Like, I could never possibly do that. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so I'll just heat stuff up. And, and I think this whole thing kind of fuels itself. I couldn't possibly yeah. cook because yeah. I'm not the iron chef. Uh, so I might as well throw something in the microwave and sit down and watch a chef. Yeah. It's one more big chunk of distance between ourselves and our food. And, and another example of how we are not necessary in our own lives. We don't need to cook. Yeah. And, and that again is part of a, a broad pattern, and that is the comprehension and competence that everybody had in the rural culture. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the things they could do with a shovel, with a mm -hmm. horse, mm -hmm. with an axe, mm -hmm. has been taken over by experts. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing left for people to uh, engage their, their skills anymore. I mean, the skills are just useless. And, uh, and there's no need to comprehend anything, because the experts, you know, yeah. they, they, they can do it so much better, and they produce uh, the very, uh, you know, devices and machineries that make competence and comprehension uh, unnecessary. Mm -hmm. So the, there's this terrible impoverishment in uh, the lives, you know, of people, as you mentioned before, that robs it of vigor mm -hmm. and uh, personality and uh, groundedness.